Hey everyone, welcome back to Fact Fusion. Today, we're diving into the mysterious world of the skies. Have you ever wondered if we're truly alone in the universe? Well, grab your telescopes and detective hats because we're about to explore the top five extraterrestrial sightings that have more evidence than you might expect. Kicking off our list at number five, we're taking you to a warm spring evening on March 13, 1997, when the skies over Phoenix, Arizona were illuminated by an extraordinary display that captured the attention of thousands. Imagine looking up and seeing a massive V-shaped formation of lights gliding silently across the sky. This wasn't just a brief flash. These enigmatic lights lingered for hours, moving slowly and captivating everyone who saw them. As the city gazed upward, the lights traveled from the northwest across the valley, passing directly over Phoenix before disappearing into the southeastern night sky. Descriptions from eyewitnesses varied, but the sheer size and coordinated movement of the lights suggested something far from ordinary. In response to mounting public curiosity and concern, the U.S. Air Force later claimed that these lights were merely flares dropped by A-10 Warthog aircraft during a routine training exercise at the nearby Barry Goldwater Range. However, this explanation didn't sit well with many who witnessed the event. Skeptics pointed out the precision and static nature of the formation, unlike typical behaviors of flares which drift with the wind and quickly burn out. Moreover, the duration of the sighting and the vast number of people who witnessed the event without hearing any sound associated with conventional aircraft only fueled more speculation. Were these truly just flares, or had residents of Phoenix witnessed something truly out of this world? The debate continues, as the Phoenix lights remain a defining moment in UFO history, sparking interest and discussion around the globe. Sliding into number four on our list, we journey to Belgium, where during the chilly winter nights of late 1989 and into 1990, a series of unusual events unfolded that would mark one of the most credible UFO episodes in history. In a small, densely populated country, hundreds of ordinary citizens and numerous police officers reported seeing a large, triangular-shaped object silently cruising through the skies. This object wasn't just a fleeting shadow. It was described as being of massive size, with lights at each corner and a central light that many witnesses described as intensely bright. What sets the Belgian UFO wave apart is the level of official response it provoked. In an unprecedented move, the Belgian Air Force openly engaged with the phenomenon. They launched F-16 fighter jets to intercept and identify the mysterious visitor. These high-tech aircraft, equipped with the latest radar technology, managed to lock on to the UFO multiple times. However, each time a lock was established, the object would dramatically change its position in the blink of an eye, moving at speeds and with maneuvers far beyond the capabilities of any known human-made aircraft. Pilots and radar operators reported that the UFO could drop its altitude from over 10,000 feet to nearly ground level in seconds, a feat that would be fatal to any human pilot due to the intense G-forces. Additionally, it could accelerate from standstill to speeds beyond Mach 1 without a sonic boom, defying the known laws of physics and aviation. This series of events prompted a significant investigation by the Belgian military which collaborated with local universities and international organizations to analyze radar tapes and witness reports. The official report concluded that the data confirmed the exceptional characteristics of the flying object and could not correlate it with any conventional aircraft movements or known atmospheric phenomena. To this day, the Belgian UFO wave remains one of the most well-documented and intriguing encounters. The combination of multiple radar confirmations, numerous credible witness testimonies, and the lack of a plausible conventional explanation leaves the door open to many possibilities and continues to intrigue both skeptics and believers alike. Taking the third spot on our countdown is the Rendlesham Forest incident, often referred to as Britain's Roswell. This intriguing event unfolded over three nights during the cold, misty evenings of December 1980 near Raff Woodbridge, which at the time was being used by the United States Air Force. This forest, shrouded in mystery, became the focal point of one of the most well-documented UFO sightings in history. On the night of December 26, 
military personnel at the base observed strange lights descending into the nearby Rendlesham Forest. Thinking an aircraft might have crashed, a small team led by Lieutenant Colonel Charles Halt ventured into the dark woods to investigate. What they found was not a downed aircraft, but a craft of unknown origin. Described as metallic in appearance and triangular in shape, the object was roughly three meters across at the base. It appeared to be standing on a tripod of sorts and emitted a bright light from its top section. Over the next two nights, the object was not only seen again, but interacted with. Witnesses reported that the craft had a highly reflective surface with symbols that resembled hieroglyphics etched along its side much different from any aircraft markings. These symbols were not immediately comprehensible, but, but appeared to be intentionally designed. On the second night, Lieutenant Colonel Halt and his team ventured out with radiation detectors and reportedly recorded significantly higher than average readings in the vicinity where the craft had been seen. The object was observed making incredible maneuvers effortlessly gliding between trees and moving with speeds and agility that defied the known capabilities of earthly technology. At one point, it reportedly sent down a beam of light near the weapon storage area of the base, a highly sensitive section given the Cold War context of the time. This particular action led to speculations ranging from extraterrestrial surveillance to outright interference. The Rendlesham Forest incident remains a hotly debated topic. The detailed accounts from highly trained military personnel, physical traces left in the forest, and the subsequent release of declassified government documents have all contributed to the ongoing interest and mystery. Whether it was a secret military experiment or something truly otherworldly, this incident continues to be a cornerstone example of unexplained aerial phenomena. Claiming the top spot on our list is the now famous Tic Tac UFO encounter which stands out due to its high credibility and the involvement of the U.S. military. This event occurred in November 2004 during a routine training mission conducted by the USS Nimitz Carrier Strike Group off the coast of Southern California. The incident not only involves multiple eyewitness accounts from trained Navy pilots, but also includes radar data and infrared footage that have been publicly released by the Pentagon. The sighting began when a Navy radar operator aboard the USS Princeton, part of the Nimitz Group, noticed an unknown object on radar that was displaying highly unusual flight characteristics. Over several days, radar operators observed these objects descending from altitudes greater than 80,000 feet to hovering at 20,000 feet and then abruptly plunging towards the sea level in a matter of seconds. Intrigued by these unexplainable maneuvers, which defied the limits of known aerospace technology, the USS Princeton dispatched two F-A-18F fighter jets to investigate. The pilots, including Commander David Fravor, witnessed what they described as an oblong object resembling a tic-tac, about 40 feet long, which exhibited extraordinary aerial capabilities. Commander Fravor noted that, that the object had no visible wings, rotors, or propulsion systems, yet it was able to hold its position against the wind and then accelerate instantaneously. The most astounding maneuver was when the Tic Tac UFO reacted to the pilot's presence. As Fravor attempted to approach the object, it rapidly accelerated to the left and disappeared from his view within seconds, a movement that should be impossible with current human technology. The infrared footage captured by the jets presents a clear image of the object, which appeared to maintain a consistent form without any of the heat signatures that accompany conventional aircraft engines. This footage was later declassified by the Pentagon in 2020, affirming the authenticity of the encounter and sparking widespread media interest and scientific inquiry. The Tic Tac UFO sighting remains one of the most tantalizing and well-documented instances of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, due to the quality and reliability of the evidence. It continues to be a primary reference point in discussions about advanced aerial technologies and their implications for understanding objects in our skies that remain unexplained by current scientific paradigms. This case not only challenges our understanding of physics and aviation, but also opens the door to reconsidering the possibilities of what might be traversing our skies. So what do you think? 
Are these sightings proof of extraterrestrial visitors, or is there a more earthly explanation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed unraveling these mysteries with us, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell for more videos from Fact Fusion. We've got plenty more secrets of the universe to explore together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next adventure.